Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. Thanks again. Me and Chrissy owe you one. You bet. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? Talked is maybe too strong a word. I tried. He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like the one you and Gabe were gonna take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. Can we even pull that off? It won't be high production value, but it'll still be fun. I need your help, though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? Cravius looks pretty badass. Go with that. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, I, I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. Be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. Hey, uh, Haven listeners. That was Phone Tap with their new single, Elephant in the Room. We've got a sweet block of indie rock coming down the pike. But first, a few announcements. Helpful. The Spring Festival is just around the corner, sponsored by Typhon Mining Company. The mission is free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Another issue of Legendary Monster. different this time. It's sweet. She's planning a whole LARP for Ethan. I can't believe he ordered that record. Fuck. The adventures of Thanor are about to get real. Chrissy's gonna make it back home. I'm glad I could help. Ninth Warden's cool, but not as cool as Thanor. Wait, Chrissy? She's a dog? Gabe was hoping I'd get back into playing. Maybe I will. Helpful.
Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? I could take a minute to look through Steph's plans. Val, I just want to be friends. The Spring Festival is just around the corner, sponsored by Typhon Mining Company. The mission is free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Hell, bring your ex. I'm sure it'll be different this time. I can't believe he ordered that record. <laughs> The adventures of Feanor are about to get real. Maybe I'll get to hear her play sometime. Still going. Oh, looks like Steph wants me to do more than just make some decisions. She wants me to play a bard. Guess I'm in. Let's start with my name. Alto is a good name for a bard. Ability time. Distortion field sounds fun, but healing serenade could really come in handy. Healing serenade it is. How did I meet Thanor? A wolf and an ogre walk into a bar. This LARP thing just might work. Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? Mac's still not here. I hope it's good news.
Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? How's your progress in Moondrop Ranch? Did you buy your... Your chicken coop? No, I couldn't. Mac. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. I'm really sorry he died. And I appreciate that you... You didn't out me to Riley the other night, but I can't talk to you. I get it. He died on your shift, and you're freaked. But you have to come clean. Please. There's nothing I can tell you. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. Maybe if I could tap into his fear, I could get to the truth. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. Everyone's out to get me. Alex, Ryan, even Riley. Fuck! Even Riley? Did something happen with her? Whenever you're ready for that interview, give me a call. Yep, will do. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge.
Nice to know. Hipsters can survive at this altitude. Wind chimes. The original jam band. Okay, that sucked. But at least I told her the truth. She's really hurting, but I didn't want to lie to her. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. Betrayal still makes me feel sick. Same. But... I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. Sorry about today. It's not your fault. But I was really...
Too bad I can't just run away from all this. Thanks for spending time with me. Thanks for letting me. Thanks for spending time. Like, what? Maybe I can get her to tell me. Do you... want to talk about Mac? Yeah. I get it. It's just... If he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him I had to think about it, but... Alex, I... I'm scared. He did something horrible. Riley... Thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Do. Okay. We'll talk soon? Yeah. Whenever you want. Mac trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear. I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Okay, let's do this. I got Riley to tell me about your plans to leave town. That's not something innocent people do. Look, I didn't... It's not... I didn't do anything. <sighs> Fuck off! <sighs> Leave me alone!
deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. I saw Mac run down that alley. I'm so close to getting the truth. Can't turn back now. I saw Mac run down that alley. I saw Mac run down that alley. I saw Mac run down that alley. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. It's not fair. I didn't do anything wrong. It should have been you instead. Alex? I know you didn't mean for Gabe to get hurt, but you screwed up and it's time to come clean. I'm not the reason he's dead! Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. Whatever you think you know. I know you tried to stop it. They fucked up, not you. Stop lying for them! You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Gabe and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, and now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer? My neighbors all hate me? I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down, but does he deserve it? All right, Mac, come on. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted, to have everyone think the worst of you, but the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? Thanks. I 
actually feel a little better. <laughs> yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> So, what are you going to do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm going to get to the truth. Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and... It doesn't matter! I keep... Coming here and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. I need to know what Ryan is feeling. my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. You did everything right. Typhon took him away from us. Not you. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward worse than worthless. You were brave this morning. You're brave now. I've never been as brave as you. It doesn't matter. 
Gabe's dead because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. Gabe loved you, Ryan. He would forgive you. You know that. You're not alone. gorilla suit? <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no. He chases a guy in a banana suit. <laughs> that guy jumps off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. <laughs> I tell you, he's the oldest 12-year-old I know. Can I ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? There's something you should know about me. And it's gonna be easier to show you than to explain it. This is gonna seem sort of weird at first, then really weird. Do you trust me? Okay. Think of something that makes you so angry, you just want to scream. You really focus until you feel it. the wasted potential. You're angry for me, for Ethan and Charlotte, for everyone who had their futures with Gabe stolen. Wish you could have been there with us. There was no one in the world more fun to be around. <laughs> Man, this one time, Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> what emotion is this? <laughs> together.
That's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up. It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The... the crown of... Property of the crown, Gabe. What do we do? Gabe, Goose. I see it. It'll move. It's not moving. It'll move. Gabe! How deep you think? Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. The Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you gonna let me dig? <laughs> I wasn't gonna stop you. <laughs> Finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown? <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> <laughs> How? There's just something wrong with the way I process other people's emotions. I see these auras, I guess. And sometimes, if somebody's feeling something big, it sort of infects me. And I start feeling it too. And that's what you just did with... with me? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you. You're a literal wizard. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. But that... that was pure joy. Who else knows? Gabe did. But now I guess just you. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to tow the line. Okay, but why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So you're going after Typhon? You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. You're... Well, 
welcome, I guess. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. No. Thank you. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. I didn't speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. I won't hold 